Hello students, I will explain the concept of angle which is required for studying the trigonometry. First, let us understand what is actually angle is. The definition of angle says, angle is a measure of rotation of a given ray about its initial point. See here, generally when you take the coordinate axis, positive x axis will be the initial line. And if you rotate the direction, it's called angle. And if you do the one complete rotation, it will make an angle of 360 degree. Now, see here. If the direction of rotation is anti-clockwise direction, the angle is said to be positive. It will be considered as a positive. If the direction of rotation is clockwise direction like this, the tip of the clock moves is the clockwise direction. And if it is in the clockwise direction, then the angle is taken as negative. Now, you take a line segment and rotate this in m degrees that is uh, when you complete uh, one rotation the angle generated by rotation of this is 360 degree and uh, if you rotate in the clockwise direction like this the angle you can observe it is decreasing and if you complete one rotation it will be minus 360 degree thus here the original ray here you can see the dotted ray which is called the initial side and after rotation the ray will reach here and the final position of the ray after rotation is called terminal side of the angle. The point of rotation is called the vertex. Here O is the vertex. Now, let us study the different units of measures of angle. You know that the length can be measured by different units. You can measure it by meter, centimeter, millimeters you can represent the length in feet inches etc these are all different units of measures of length similarly angle can be measured in different unit and one unit is degree measure that you generally use in previous classes here the definition of the degree will be like this and uh, first you have to consider one complete rotation and uh, divide it into four equal parts. You can see this shaded part that is one fourth of the complete rotation. Now each part is called one right angle and this is a notation for right angle and uh, each part is called one right angle. Now this one right angle is further divided into 90 equal parts and each part is called as 1 degree. A 1 degree is a small quantity and uh, you can observe and this is 1 degree. The angle is 1 degree and thus we have 1 right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Now if 1 right angle is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is called as grades which is the other unit of measure of angle if the right angle is divided into 100 equal parts then it is called defined as one grade and you know the representation of degree 90 degree you can represent it by 90 with the small letter o as a superfix and similarly grades can be denoted by 
small letter g as a super fix now this 1 degree is further divided into 60 equal parts see this small quantity of the angle this is 1 degree and this is divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called 1 minute 1 minute is a very small quantity of angle and uh, 1 minute is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called 1 second now finally you will have this result one right angle is 90 degree and here 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes because 1 degree is divided into 60 equal parts that's why 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes if it is half degree you can clearly tell it is 30 minutes and uh, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds because 1 minute is divided into 60 equal parts and which is called as 1 second and uh, thus we will have 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds and uh, by this we have 1 degree is equal to 3600 seconds.